Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I hope you all are doing good today. So in today's video, I actually decided to do a Amazon try on haul kind of a thing. All of these products that I have in this box here, I got it from Amazon and all of these are new products, new makeup products. I do have a hair care product as well. So I'm going to be showing you guys what makeup products I got and not only that, I'm just going to be testing them out on my skin as well so that uh, you know you guys have an idea how it performs on my skin and me just not showing the product but also how it works on my skin so we are going to be doing that and that is why I'm bare faced I almost have all products that I am going to need for a full face except bronzer and eyebrow and for my eyelashes yeah rest of it is all here so anyway let's get started also if you are someone who is new to this channel who are who is seeing me for the first time thank you so much for deciding to check this video out thank you so much for uh you know hanging out with me i would love if you could subscribe if you like the vibe you can definitely hit on the subscribe button i post twice or sometimes twice each week and also if you ring on the bell uh you will get notified every time i upload and also youtube is just going to recommend you my videos more so yeah without further ado let's get started so i'm just going to clip my hair out of my face uh i got these clips from sheen i did not get them from amazon i couldn't find something similar like this on amazon but yeah i also got these earrings this hoops from amazon so if you want the link i will put it in the description box and I'll put links of everything that I am going to use in today's video in the description box itself. Now, the first thing I uh, got here in my haul is this one. This is the e.l.f. Studio Finish Oil Primer. Now, this is like supposedly like an oil primer going to be very hydrating on the skin. I really do like an uh, oil primer. The packaging is pretty good. It reminds me of the Smashbox uh, primer oil. It kind of looks like that to be honest and also I have my mirror here so that is where I'll be looking at when I'm going to apply the makeup on my face. So yeah, let's just try it out. I will leave all the prices and everything in the, in the, you know, in the screen itself. So yeah, so let's just try it out. I haven't even uh, tried this oil ever. I don't have an oil primer kind of a thing. I have my squalene oil and I use that to prep my skin, but I just don't have a primer oil, you know. It's going to be very interesting to use this. Uh, I'll zoom you guys in a little bit. Um, and now this is perfect uh, uh, you guys can are able to see me very clearly so I'm just going to put this on my hands I don't like to put it directly on my face so I'm just going to put this on my hands and just the oil has a little citrus type of a smell as I'm getting the smell it feels a uh, oily obviously it's an oil but uh i'm getting a little bit of that oh my god i look way too oily on camera but in real i don't look that much oily i mean this is normal for me to be very honest with you guys i just used like two drops and it's definitely making me very very oily uh it's not for you if you have uh oily skin also as i said this smells very very citrusy very yeah very fruity kind of smell it has that to it now i'm just going to let that primer oil sink into my skin for a little bit and then i'm going to go in with my foundation which is also which the foundation which i got in the haul uh is this one this is the rimmel uh lasting radiance foundation so this is also kind of like a dewy foundation now i got this in the shade what shade is this i got this in the shade um i i don't see the shade anywhere here but i will leave it on the screen in which shade i got um so this is supposedly like a medium coverage foundation that looks very good on the skin it kind of blends in really good that's how they marketed this as and also i see like very very tiny specks of shimmer and in here as you can see very tiny bit you your naked eye cannot even detect that on the skin i'm pretty sure about that but it just looks it has a sheen to it as 
uh, in the bottle I can see that it has a sheen to it now that my foundation like my primer is kind of like soaked up a little bit I'm going to go in with this foundation now let's see if it's my skin tone or not it's a little dark on me um, I don't apply that much of foundation to be very honest um, I'm someone I just like very very minimal coverage uh, and I don't like to apply that much of foundation anyway so I'm going to take this sponge right here as you can see uh, this sponge is uh, from a brand co called Rumor Cosmetics and I really do love this sponge a lot I will leave the link of the sponge down below as well so I'm just going to press this on my skin So after blending in the foundation, this is how my skin is looking. It definitely is looking super dewy. Um, and I can just say that it's because of the oil. Uh, it, the foundation is definitely dewy on its own. But the main thing the, of the dewiness that is on my skin is because of the oil. Now I'll see if I set my face. I normally do not set my face at all. So anyway, the next uh, product that I got in this haul is this one. This is the L'Oreal Infallible Full Wear uh, Concealer. Now I got this mainly because of my friend Rema. She used to love, she like, she loved this concealer so much and I love her base so much. Every time she does makeup on Instagram, I just, I fall in love with her base makeup products. So that is why I got this concealer. Now I got this in the shade again i cannot see where the shade name is oh yeah i got this in the shade 314 beige now this i know it's not going to be quite like my skin tone and this has a big doe foot applicator as you can see here i'm just going to apply a little bit i'm someone i don't like to apply too much of uh, uh, concealer so i'm just applying a little bit of it and i'm going to blend this out with the sponge again this is oh my god this is full coverage i feel like um because it's like covering up all of this area and i did not even need that much of concealer um as much as i know i know that this concealer is very very like full coverage but it's also amazing like on the skin it doesn't look like a concealer or something that is sitting on the skin so that is something that that is the main reason why i got this concealer in the first place it definitely is a little lighter than my skin tone but since it's a concealer i do think that i can make it work somehow so this is how my skin looks um i'll show i'll like zoom in you guys a little bit and you can see how my skin looks uh up close so as you can see this is how my skin looks I do have to say the foundation that I applied is a little too dark and the concealer is a little too light on me and I have a very very dewy face right now it's borderline oily I can say that um, so I'm going to quickly do my brows off camera and I'm going to come back for my eyes. So I'm back after doing my brows and I haven't only done my brows. I did put a crease eyeshadow color because I don't have an eyeshadow. Uh, this is the crease color that I put. Uh, I just needed a little bit of a brown crease and that's it. So what I did was I just took a fluffy brush. I dipped in it in this shade and i just started to put this on my crease that's the only eyeshadow i will be needing because i do have a liquid kind of like a, a shimmer shadow so that is what i'm going to be using so yeah that's that's it so this is how much brown eyeshadow i need so the next product that i got on my amazon haul is this one this is the swiss beauty liquid eyeshadow and it's in the shade 03 champagne now this one looks so good and they cost so less and honestly i wanted to get them from for the longest time uh they look like the stila 
liquid eyeshadow like liquid glitter eyeshadow i don't have the stila liquid eyeshadow so i don't know how those are but i do know they are super amazing because everyone raves about it but i don't personally have that so yeah this comes with this doe foot applicator and the shade looks so beautiful so i'm just going to put this on my lids directly and maybe try to blend it out with my fingers we'll see how to work with it um these look pretty good so i'm just tapping it out a little bit um when you tap it like kind of grows away so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to swipe this i mean i i do think they are nice but i just don't know how to work with them right now because this is my first time of course so yeah i just did that and i'll do this on the other lid as well so this is how it looks like with one layer uh now i do have to say i don't like how it looks with just one layer so i'm going to go in and put on some uh, another layer of this so that's kind of like pigmented. Okay, so this is how it looks like. Honestly, I do have to say that I don't know how to put this on my lids. I think there is a learning curve when it comes to these eyeshadows. I know a lot of you guys have tried this out. So let me know how do you make this work because I, if I apply one layer, it, it looks okay, but it doesn't look like too bam in your face. And if I apply two layers, it's kind of like looking a little patchy. I'm not going to lie. I'll zoom you guys in so that you can see how it looks like. This is how it looks like. As you can see, there are patches of it like not sitting well on my skin. Um, far from far, it looks pretty good. But up close, it doesn't look that good, to be honest. And I think so it's my fault, partly, because I don't know how to use this. So, yeah. So, I'll just finish up my eyes using a mascara. And uh, I'm going to use an eyelash. This is the eyelash I'm going to use. I got these from Amazon, you guys know. I just cut them in half always and put them on my eye eyelashes. So, this is what I'm going to be using today as well. So I finished doing my eyes and this is how it looks like. I think it looks pretty okay-ish now. So the next product I have here is from Daughter Earth. Now this is like almost like a cream blush kind of a thing. It's a lip and cheek tint. So it's like cream blush. And I got the shade Coffee Nude. Can we just appreciate how beautiful the packaging first? I mean, it looks so cute. And I really love the whole vibe of this brand, to be very honest. Now, yeah, this is the, as I said, Coffee Nude. This is in the shade Coffee Nude. And I am in love with this shade. This is like totally right up my alley. This blush shade is so beautiful. And it's going to suit so many Indian skin tones. Uh, it's like a nudey brown kind of a blush and yeah i'm super excited to try this out now i'm going to use this with a brush and we'll see how this works this kind of feels a little dry um, when you put your fingers in here it definitely feels very how i would say it very feels very creamy but alone like this it feels kind of dry this is the shade um i don't think so you can see that well so i'm going to first try to apply this with a brush and we'll see how it looks like so i'm taking a slanted brush like so so this is how the blush is looking i really do like how this blush looks to be very honest, it's the, it's not going, it's not giving me a glowy look or anything like that. It's just giving me that color, uh, that just a little flush of color. It looks very very natural. To be very honest, and the glow that you guys are seeing is from the base, uh, purely from the base. I can definitely tell that this is not a glowy blush, but it's going to give you that natural flush of colors on your cheeks without making it look makeupy, which 
which I love and also the I really love this uh, you know that you can apply this with your brush and also with your fingers with your fingers you first have to warm up the product a little bit and then you can just tap it in if you are someone who is into that whole no makeup makeup types you are going to love this product I can just I can just tell by how it works it really does work good and when I'm buying a cream or a liquid blush there are so many factors that can go wrong because it can lift up your foundation it can look patchy it can look like it's sitting on top of the skin and this one checks out all good points of a cream blush so yeah i really do like it i'm definitely not going to be using this as my lip tint because um i have another lipstick that i'm going to use but i really do like this a lot a lot uh, now I have here is a highlighter it is again a cream highlighter it is from the brand Sherry now I have seen this brand pop up on Amazon a lot so I just decided to get this stick highlighter now I am into cream highlighters I'm technically not into highlighters that much anymore but if I am using a highlighter I want it to be a cream highlighter so that is why I got this I got the shade gleam girl now to be very honest with you guys this kind of feels a little drying like it doesn't have that creamy texture to it like how i want my other uh cream highlighters to be so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to warm up uh the highlighter on this with my fingers a little bit here and then just apply it with my fingers as well i mean i'm already glowing but So I kind of like this highlighter, um, it's definitely on the drying side, a little drying side but it does give a very skin like glow on the skin as you can see here and I recommend you to always put your highlighters with your hands, uh, cream highlighters specifically with your hands so that it looks more natural because when you warm up the product and put it on your skin, it's just going to melt in with your skin really well and especially because this is the drier formulation product, it's very important that you first warm it up with your hands and then just apply it on your skin. Um, I really do like how this is looking on my skin it's looking very very wet um, so yeah that was the highlighter and now the last product that we have here is this one this is the Lacme matte revolution lip color now this packaging don't just tell me that this packaging doesn't look like MAC to you this totally screams like a MAC lipstick um, I really do love the shade when it came into uh, you know I just opened it up and I really love the shade so much now this is supposed to be a very good formulation matte lipstick now we'll see how it works on my skin I got the shade uh, soft nude and so I just removed my lip balm and I'm going to use this shade this is how the lipstick looks like by the way can you see that it has a slant to it it looks super super nice the shade also looks pretty good but yeah this looks pretty amazing so i'm just going to put this on my lips hmm. it's a little uh peachy on me as you can see it definitely is an am amazing color but it's a little peachy on me so what i'm going to do is i'm going to line my lips with a darker lip liner so that it kind of matches with my skin tone so i'm going to use this lip liner from wet n wild and i'll try to match it up So this is how it looks with the lip liner on as i said this looks very beautiful when i have a dark brown lip liner now uh this is how my makeup turned out i think i'm just going to darken up my outer corners a little bit here not too much just a little bit
So this is how all my makeup looks like after putting it all over my face. Now I will show you guys the last product that I got from this haul is this shampoo. You guys, uh, if you have seen my hair care tutorial or hair care routine, you guys know that I really really love this shampoo a lot. So I repurchased this shampoo and this is like kind of a repurchase for me. I really do love this shampoo a lot and I was running out of my previous one so I got this uh, again. Uh, I'm going to zoom you guys out and I will tell you guys what products were like amazing on my skin, what I liked, how everything went on my skin and everything as such. So coming on, I really really love this primer oil a lot. I, I just see myself using this in the future. Now I do have to use a little bit of it. I do not need the whole, you know, two drops. I think one drop is enough on my skin. So yeah, I really do like this a lot. The second was the foundation. Amazing. I know the shade is not exactly spot on, but it looks good on my skin. I really love how this blended into my skin. And I know that I use two different uh, primers and a foundation, but I do know uh, this foundation is going to be a hit for me. I just loved how it blended into my skin so nicely and it's sitting so well on my skin even not right now. It isn't looking dry or patchy. It's not sitting on top of my skin. Generally, when I use sometimes, uh, with tricky foundations when you use a oil based primer it can look like it's sitting on top of the skin but this one just absorbed into my skin and it's just giving me that natural kind of a look so i really do like this now coming on to the concealer yes the shade isn't right on spot but i la do like the formulation this is definitely a concealer i see myself using during special events it's definitely not a everyday concealer for me but i do really like it and it's really good to have something like this full coverage in your collection yeah it may not be too much coverage for some people but for me personally it is a little bit on the high coverage side so that is why i'm going to keep this up for events for like occasions where i need to you know need a hell lot of coverage i will use this now what else did I have? Oh my god, the blush. Uh, where is the blush? The blush is my absolute favorite from this uh, whole tutorial. Oh my, I cannot even say how beautiful this blush looks. I applied a little too much on my cheeks and as you can see, it's still looking so good. It definitely has this peachy brown undertone to it and I really love this a lot. It is definitely going to suit most Indian skin tones. It's going to suit you even if you're fair and it builds up really, really well as far as I have like notice today it definitely builds up really well it doesn't look patchy doesn't look you know too much on the skin now coming on to my eyes where is the eyeshadow uh the eyeshadow i i feel like i don't know how to apply this that's because a lot of you guys really love this eyeshadow and I just have to get used to how to apply this really in the correct way because it is a liquid eyeshadow it's definitely a little tricky to work with and I know that so let me know your thoughts uh, if you have tried this how do you use it how do you like it like do you really like it or is it giving you the same kind of problem that uh, you know it's happening on my eyes right now so definitely let me know that so that I can figure this thing out I think there is a learning curve with this one, but I I do see myself using this in the future too. So um, after that, we have the highlighter. Definitely not the best uh, cream highlighter out there, I do have to say, but I really like this. When I tried to blend it with my fingers, it's good. I thought the formulation was going to be very, very chunky as when I swatched it. I thought it was going to be very chunky, but it's not. It definitely looks very skin-like once you apply it this with your fingers. So I just think that applying this with your fingers or a beauty blender is going to do the trick, not with a brush. And the last is the lip color. The lip shade is really good. I do like it a lot. I just have to use a darker lip liner with this lip shade and that's it. Other than that, I really do love the lip color and also the formulation is amazing. It's like this velvety matte type of uh, thing on your lips you do not even feel like your lips is dry or anything as such 
So the next time I use this, I'm definitely going to go with a darker lip liner. Also, as you guys know, my foundation is not my shade. So it's kind of making me look uh, more washed out. So if you're someone who is medium to fair skin tone, this is going to be your new favorite nude shade. The formulation is also really, really amazing. So yeah, th those were all the products run down that I, you know, I could give you after doing this full face of makeup look. Uh, thank you so much for watching. I did like a lot of these products. Uh, the blush was the hit for me, to be very honest with you guys. So anyway, thank you so much for watching. Also, if you are someone who is watching me for the first time, you can click on the subscribe button and help me out. Uh, it really helps me out a lot. And also the notifi notification bell because that way you will get notified every time I post a video, which is twice or thrice each week. So yeah, without further ado, with not without further ado. I will see you guys in my next video. I always mix up my intros and outros. I'm so sorry. But yeah, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye-bye.